Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to a new day of the Old Scrolls Arena. It is now the 25th of Pathfire, and we are fast traveling our way to the next town that, in typical Leo fashion, I have forgotten the name of. Uh, nope, nope, have no idea what it was. Never mind about that. Now, <laughs> I know it's already Wednesday and it's a bit late, but I'm really terrible at doing announcements. <laughs> Uh, I really should fix my problem with that. Um, so, I, I, th the way I wanted to do it was like s maybe Saturday or, or at least Monday I'd, if I changed the videos that I was uploading for that week, uh, I would tell you in this video, but uh, I haven't been doing that, sorry about that. But in any case, uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, this week is uh, Borderlands 2 with Gage the Mechromancer. Uh, playing uh, the DLC for Borderlands 2, the first DLC of which is Captain Scarlet's Pirate Booty. So, if you were pining for some more Gage the Mechromancer, you can go and check out those videos that I have uploaded. Uh, they should appear everywhere, including on my main page, in my feed, and of course in the Mechromancer playlist itself. Um, I did mention that on the weekend I went and I played that Gundam game, which was an amazing game. Um, I suppose I don't really have to go into the mechanics of the game, because I pretty much explained. One thing I didn't say was, I mean, I, well, I did say that I, I wanted to record it, but I wasn't able to. The main reason why I wasn't able to was, um, like I was saying uh, before, you you're like, like inside a concave screen. So all I, if I wanted to record it, I would have to actually like constantly move the camera around to show you because you can't, even if you're sitting there, even with like natural peripheral vision, you can't actually see what's to your left and right without physically turning your head. That's how big the screen is. It's really cool. Like, you actually feel like you're looking around in a real space, because you're actually physically looking around. Um, can't really explain it that well, but you know what I mean. Um, I did mention this, it's a, it's a turn, not turn-based, sorry. It's a team-based first-person shooter uh, using mechs. Um, and it's actually really, really fun. Um, it's immensely fun. Uh, in some missions, you can sort of, at the beginning of the mission, you can make a waypoint marker that shows you where you want to go, like to tell other people that I'm going to go here, and then during the battle, the waypoint marker uh, points you, like the, the HUD points you in the direction of where your waypoint is, so you can know. I didn't know this at the time, and I just put it wherever, and then I, I, I followed the waypoint marker and I realized, oh crap, I'm just going into this corner where I left the waypoint marker at the beginning. Um, I think that was the New York Battlefield. The New York Battlefield is actually really cool. It's it's all like post-apocalyptic, so it's all destroyed. Actually, it more resembles the highway, like the freeway overpasses of LA than it does New York. Because there's a lot of like those overpass roads that are like half destroyed sort of thing. But uh, I don't know what the name of that overpass, that big overpass is in LA where there's like three different roads that overlap each other. It's really weird. Then, um, yeah, that Gundam game is great. I can't wait, actually, uh, until I, I, I go play it again. I kind of, like, I wanted to play it. I remember when I was in, when I was in Australia still, um, I saw it. I found it on the internet. I was like, dude, I want to, I have to play this game. And then I realized, oh, crap. The town that I'm going, the town that, uh, you know, my wife is, lives in, or my wife's family lives in, is, um, it's a bit of a small town, so they don't have a lot of the cool stuff. Like, most of that cool stuff, you got to go to Tokyo to, to, to actually get. Maybe Osaka. Um, and I don't really like Tokyo that much, to be honest with you. It's it's a bit busy. I prefer small towns. Especially small towns when there aren't a lot of foreigners, because I can be, like, the one foreigner in town, and it's really cool. I'm, like, an instant celebrity, and I didn't, didn't even have to do anything. It's great. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I really wanted to play this game, and then I found out, uh, I think I, I, because I tried looking for where you could play the game, and 
uh, it was all in Japanese, I couldn't figure it out. And uh, my waifu like asked around, and she found out that there, there was a place in, uh, in my town where they do have it. And it's about half an hour drive away. <laughs> But, I mean, if we're ever in the area, or, like, on, it's on the way to the main city, so if we're ever, like, on the way, I'm usually like, uh, can we go to the game place, and, uh, so I can play, uh, Gundam? Yeah, can we play Gundam? 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 Can I, can I want to play Gundam? Can I play Gundam? And then my wife instantly says, no, we don't have time, let's go. God damn it, I want to play Gundam! <laughs> but I love Gundam! I love it so much! <laughs> Um, but, uh, actually, in this particular instance, the only reason I ever got to play it was because we, uh, we were in the area, and then afterwards, uh, we went, well, my waifu and wanted to talk with her friends over coffee in the coffee shop, which is actually in the same building, and she didn't want me there, because she wanted to have, quote-unquote, girls talk, end quote. Um... And so she said, you go play games, I'm going to go talk to my friend. I'm like, but I need you to help me explain the Japanese for the game because I can't understand how to do anything. And she's like, no, you figure it out yourself. God damn it. Luckily, I had my little English card, which helped me most of the time. She, she did come and help me make the ID card, which I did need her for that. But apart from that, I had to pretty much had to figure out how to play the game by my, myself. But it is... With the English guide, um, and then with, um, with just, if, if you know how to, you know, do basic tank controls, it's pretty easy to work out how to play the game. Uh, well, I mean, controlling-wise, is fairly easy. Um, there's, like, the two pedals, one's, like, boost, one's jump, and you've got, like, a boost gauge that runs out, um, which is exactly the same as the Gundam... Uh, the Gundam Musu game. <laughs> uh, did it want Dynasty Rose Gundam, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, it's a great game. I, um, yeah, like I was saying before, before I'd actually played it, I wanted to play it, but I was like, every time we were, she was, she actually offered to, uh, you know, we could, we could go and, and play the game, I was like, eh, I'm a bit tired, it's, no, it's not really worth the effort, I don't, I can't really be bothered right now, I'd rather just sit here and, play my own video games, I guess. Um, and now that I've played the game, I've sort of ruined it. I've ruined myself, because I know how awesome it is. It truly is a freaking awesome game. And it's like $3 a pop. So, I'm probably going to end up going there and wasting a whole ton of money. Um, this is a topic for another day, but uh, back when I was visiting, now I'm living here, but back when I was visiting this town, I used to go to the local game, the local supermarket, because they, the local shopping center, because they had a Namco land, and in the Namco land they had the Taiko no Tatsujin, which is the drumming uh, game, which I friggin' love too, mainly because I like, well, I, I, I'm a drummer, I like music games, it's one of, it's a simple and easy to play music game, it's kind of like the dive kick of music games, because there's only two buttons, there's hit the drum, hit the start of the drum, that's all it is. It's just like dive kick, really. Um, uh, unlike, say, Guitar Hero or, or what is it, Elite Beat Master or whatever it's called. Um, but uh, yeah, and I would just waste all my money because I think it was like this is it was a little bit cheaper. It was like uh, it was a dollar or a hundred yen for um, a credit, which gave you two songs, kind of like our Gundam three dollars gives you two games. Um, and I would just. I would well the good thing about the good thing about Tycoon Detention was I'd get tired after a few songs, so I'd actually stop playing the game. But with the Gundam game, you don't I mean, you don't really get I suppose if I played it all day I would get tired because you are actually physically moving the joysticks and pressing the pedals and stuff. But you're sitting down in a cockpit and it's all VR as opposed to smashing a drum with a drumstick. A big drum, a big taiko drum. So so Taiko would actually Taiko the Tatsuji would actually force me to stop playing because it would I'd get tired the fuck out. Also I'd like rip the skin off my fingers because the the friggin' drumsticks would chafe. But um but yeah, I, I could 
potentially end up spending like probably fifty dollars in one day playing Gundam if I'm not careful. Because there was no one there when I went there. Like, oh, actually, there no, there was another guy. Actually, that was interesting. There was another guy there that like went in. I think he put his money in, signed in, and then went out and sat out just outside. There's four pods, right? And to the left um, of the pods is a video screen that has the. Uh, it's a four-way split screen that actually shows the the view of each pod, so you can actually watch the people. Because when you're inside the pod, uh, or it depends on the on the game center, I guess. But generally speaking, you're not allowed to have more than one person in the pod. So you got to like sit on. There's like a couch that you can sit on with the TV set up, so that you can actually watch your friends play. Also, to the left of that, there's another bigger screen, like a 32-inch screen or so that has um, like a, a third person view, uh, like sort of TV view style, where it just cycles between different characters, different characters on the field, showing you the battle, which is actually cool. Because it's also a replay, so that after you finish the, um, after you finish the, like your turn, your, your, you know, your, your things, you can actually pop out and actually watch it. Although it only shows you, I think it only shows you the second battle, because I think it starts playing it during the match, so that, so I can't actually watch my entire match, which I kind of want to do. But, but um, so he would he this guy put his money in. I I I'm guessing he put his money in, and then he left the pod, and then he just sat on the couch, and then he just fiddled around with his computer, um, with his phone. I don't think he actually played the game. And then after he finished, he went out. You well after you finish your match, you get experience, you, you level up. Sometimes you earn weapons. Then what you have to do is you have to take your card over to this main like station that's like just behind, like underneath the the big replay screen, and you you scan your card, and that gives you your experience. It puts your experience and stuff on your card, and then you can also use that. Um, console to uh, look at the Gundams you've acquired, look at your profile, change things, you get like, I guess for all intents and purposes they're achievements, you can get achievements in the game, like what, well, one of the achievements is play the game in your state, or, or, or in, in Japan, um, prefecture, so actually no it wasn't, no it was, it was the major, major state, which is like a collection of different prefectures. Um, so region, region. So in your region of the country. So does that mean I can get? I have to go to all areas of Japan to get the achievements for the other areas? I think really what it is is just say, look at me. I'm a player who lives in this area of Japan. I think that's all it's supposed to mean. But you can get various achievements for shooting down enemies and you know doing attacks and stuff like that, which is kind of fun. Although it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> So I don't really understand the point. I mean, I'm not an achievement whore, so uh, that's that's Jack, that's Blackjack's job. Um, so yeah, the Gundam game is an awesome game. Um, I like I said, I can't wait to play it again. I really need to restrain myself so that I don't waste all my freaking pocket money on um, uh, on playing Gundam because I don't have a lot of pocket money to begin with, and I kind of need that for food. Um, but I guess I've ranted on about, I think that's all I had to say about Gundam. Uh, so when we come back, I'll probably rant and rave about something else, and we'll still be fast traveling to the next town. But for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.